Hey guys, welcome to a quick tutorial all about a very useful and easy feature in Premiere Pro called adjustment layers. And in today's video, I wanted to quickly show you how you can add and use them in your own projects, as well as run through a couple of scenarios when it really makes sense to use them and when it may not make as much sense to use adjustment layers. So go over here to your project panel, right click, click on new item adjustment layer hit OK it's going to default to the width and height the dimensions that you already have in your sequence here that's fine just click OK and you see it popped up right here and so what is an adjustment layer all an adjustment layer is is a blank canvas you can imagine it like a thin piece of glass that when you drag it over here above your footage it doesn't change anything nothing has changed between this and the footage that's underneath it. However, whatever effects you put on this adjustment layer, it's gonna change the way that your footage underneath looks as well. This can be really useful when you are trying to make edits to multiple clips at one time. As you can see here, I have five different clips that were all shot in the same location, so they have the same lighting setup. Um, and every change that I make to this one, I'm gonna wanna match to all these clips. So it makes much more sense to change one layer here, and now you can just put that above all these clips that are the same and make one change instead of five changes. Of course, you can copy and paste your color correction on these different clips once you've gotten it ready, but the problem is that a lot of times I'll go in the next day and notice that, hey, my footage looks a little bit too dark or a little bit too yellow and I wanna make a little tweak, but instead of just changing this one layer, if I don't have an adjustment layer and I've copy and pasted those settings, now I'm gonna have to go through each separate clip and make that tweak or copy and paste again. So that is really tedious and it makes a lot more sense to just change one layer and now I've made that tweak across all of these layers at one time. So let me show you how easy this is to do. If I go in here to my adjustment layer, I've already got Lumetri color pulled up here. I can go over to my curves. This is where I like to start with my color correction. I'm going to bring up my highlights just a little bit, bring these top whites down create some contrast here and then I'm going to warm this up a little bit and then one last thing that I like to use is a LUT and we don't need that much we're just gonna add a little bit and that is pretty good I'm not gonna get it perfect right now but I just want to show you how this works so now I have placed those color corrections on my adjustment layer and you can see if I toggle that off I've made my color correction there, and it's the same across all of these clips. So now if I change my mind and go back in and wanna tweak and say, hey, I want this to be a little bit cooler, I can cool it down a little bit, and again, it has made that correction across all of my clips. Now I wanna show you one situation where the adjustment layer is not quite as helpful. If I go ahead and drag this over to the rest of these clips from the same video that I made, you can see here I have changed locations a few times. And right here, see how that is way too much contrast, it's way too saturated and a little bit too dark. So when you are trying to use an adjustment layer on top of multiple locations, um, you're gonna have a trickier time. So what I would suggest doing here is creating a different adjustment layer so we're gonna go back over to new item, adjustment layer, okay. So real quick, cause you can see here that we're running into a little bit of duplication here and this is gonna get confusing. You wanna go ahead and name what we've got here. So I'm gonna call this one that we're about to change master CC, that stands for color correction. And this one I'm just gonna call interview CC. All right, so we're gonna move our master CC over here and what I like to do in this scenario is whatever effects you know you want to apply to all of these clips, pretty standard things, you want to go ahead and put on your master CC level. So if, for example, if you shoot in a log format with your camera and you know that you want all of your clips to be color corrected for that log format using one of these LUTs, you may want to go ahead and put that on your master CC. If you know that you want to add a little bit of contrast to all of your clips just to start with, you can go ahead and just add those basic curves on your master CC level. You may wanna add a little sharpness to all of your clips. 
so you can add that here as well. But further than that, as you get more specific as far as color temperature and um, exposure, you may wanna leave this as is and now go back through and add a little bit more of those tweaks to each individual clip. Um, and you have left your main master color correction up here that's done most of the work for you, but then you can kind of finesse your edit as you go through each clip one by one and um, make that color correction exactly as you like it. So that's a quick compromise. You know, imagine I'm just giving you a short little example here of four or five clips, but in most edits, you're gonna have hundreds and hundreds of clips. So you can see how this work adds up and it's really helpful if you can have an adjustment layer or several adjustment layers doing the bulk of the easy work for you. So I wanna show you one more easy way to use adjustment layers for another effect because adjustment layers are not just for color correction, even though color correction is a really common way to use adjustment layers. Let's add another adjustment layer. And this one is actually one that you might wanna to use to make your um, videos look more cinematic. You can add color bars, those black bars at the top and bottom to make it look more cinematic. And that is something that you would want to lay over the entire video. So using an adjustment layer is a quick and easy way to do that. So up here, we're gonna rename this black bars. We're gonna drag that into effects here bring that layer down over our footage and here we're going to change the color so we don't get confused and then make sure you have that layer selected now you're going to go up here to your effects tab click on video effects and then transform and crop and now we just want to change the top and the bottom so we're going to make the top 10% and the bottom 10% and this is personal preference you can set this however you like and as you scrub through you can see that now my entire video has those black bars on top which is just a really quick and easy way to use your adjustment layer so that is a lot quicker and easier than having to crop and add that effect to every single clip throughout your video especially as you get more clips added onto your videos and you have um, different layers here, it just gets complicated and confusing. So when you can have these adjustment layers that carry through throughout your video, it just keeps things more organized, more seamless, your workflow will be quicker and easier, which is always what we want as video editors. So I hope this video has helped you guys. Please leave me a comment below and let me know how you use adjustment layers. Do you like them or do you prefer to edit clip by clip? let me know what you think. Also let me know any upcoming questions you might have or topics that you would like to see covered in Premiere Pro. I'd be happy to cover those in the future. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more Premiere Pro tutorials coming every week.